Hi everybody, good morning. It's Sunday. It's like early, it's like oh, it's like 8 o'clock now. Um, anyways, I, I got the stuff. So, if you're real friends with me on Facebook, you know the trouble that I had. I was trying to find, um, I was trying to find cod to make, to make fish tacos. I found rockfish. I don't know a lot about, a lot about different types of stuff that you can cook. I just wanted to get some, I wanted to get some fish so I could make, pan sear it. Excuse my mess. So I could pan sear it. Oh, my cilantro fell out. Um, so that I can pan sear it and chop it up and, and ooh. So this one has, looks like this one has little tiny bones in it. So it looks like I'm gonna be pulling bones out. The tilapia doesn't have bones in it, so maybe I'll do the tilapia instead. Go ahead and put this in the freezer. So what I got was, I got the tilapia, I got a uh, street taco, I got the flour tortillas this time to hold up better with the, with the fish. And then I got some of this, and I'm gonna, and then I got some um, pico de gallo, uh, looks like there's no serrano in here. Oh no, there is, okay. So I got this to save me some time. But I do have some fresh cilantro. I also have vinegar. So I'm going to use a vinegar, like a vinegar sugar combination on the vinegar, sugar, and mayo kind of combination on the coleslaw uh, to put it on top of the fish tacos. Um, and what else am I going to do? Oh, later on I'm going to make like a, a chicken swish. A chicken Swiss um, little street taco as well um, with uh, fresh fresh chopped tomatoes, cilantro, onion, stuff like that. Um, after I'm done with this one, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my pan. There was a lady on Facebook that said said I was basically just showing you guys everything but if I don't show you guys things from where you are I can't bring you closer to my stove because then I don't have room um I'll try like when, when I start to, to to pan this pan to pan sear this and get it cooking okay so I think first I'm gonna put some um some butter I always use real butter, grade A butter. Oh, it's backwards, cause I, cause I can see you. That's why it's backwards. So it's butter, um, grade A butter with salt, cause I, I mean the other one is pointless if you're gonna have butter. Why don't you have salt in it? I started a little laundry. Oh, that's some vehicle noise. Oh, hang on. Hang on one second. Sorry, I had an Amazon. Amazon delivery. 
got it very early, which is good. Um, it's nice and warm here. Like, it seems like it's nice and warm outside. I'm going to move you guys closer to me. So hopefully it's not too jarring whenever I do those kinds of things. Let's go ahead and put you down where you can see the skillet. Okay. Will I turn the light on? Does that make it any better? Let's do it as close as I can. There we go. Let's turn. This really is not as easy as some of the some of the vloggers or some of the video makers they make it look so easy but they've been doing it a long lot, lot longer than i have i guess all right i'll put some garlic some garlic salt in here a lot of powder in here and then take the tilapia and mush it all around I think this is probably going to cook really fast and you guys don't have to worry about my fingers because you're not eating it. I don't know, I don't know if it's going to make a lot or a little bit, but I got three tilapia fillets, so I'm hoping that it makes, makes enough. And I kind of swish it all around in the butter, in the gooey gooeys. I've had tilapia before, but, um, and there's nothing really all that special about, about tilapia. I mean, you can, it's pretty popular for anybody who, who does cook, you know, with fish. It's pretty neat. It's easy to work with, I guess. I just, I won't eat anything. I won't eat the fish raw. Oh, yeah. Isn't that exciting? Okay. Alright, so we're going to add a little bit of salt to the tops. I should have got some kosher salt. Regular salt. Oh, it's going to smell amazing in here and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I'm going to go ahead and let that stuff cook. Can you zoom in? Can't zoom. Okay. So look. Okay. I'm going to pause and then do some more stuff. Okay, so I, my mother used to do this recipe of um, mayonnaise and sugar and vinegar. It's a, uh, a recipe I guess her, her family taught her. And it kind of makes, we used to call it slop when we were kids. And it kind of makes, kind of makes a sweet sour dressing. So basically, I just got, I was gonna get cabbage, different colors of cabbage, and chop it up myself. But this will save me a lot of time, and it's fresh enough. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not like it's moldy and yucky. It's fresh enough, and it's vegetables. Trying to get more of that in my diet. So I'm just going to kind of show you how I do it. I, so you can use um, Miracle Whip. Um, you can use mayonnaise. Um, I think most of the time she, she used Miracle Whip. Yeah, Tangy is what it's called. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So... I'm gonna this one. And you can see, let me see if I can switch you over. You see how the 
how the fish is doing. It's starting to get a little color around it. I'm going to actually turn it over. trying to make these transitions without being too jarring for the camera and also for the people who are watching. Okay, so I'm going to take a big old, actually, since I can't, I can't do the technical thing called glopping, so I'm just going to squirt it. That's a lot of that's a lot of fat. So, I'm going to go ahead and add some vinegar. And basically what I do with this is I just play with it until the, the taste is the, to the taste that I remember. So, I'll go ahead and put one, two, I'll start with three. Teaching people how to cook and I can't turn on, put on a lid. Oh, hello. And then sugar. It cuts, it cuts a little bit of the acid from the vinegar, but it doesn't cut all of it. So you have like a sweet tart thing going on. And man, this stuff is so good. You can put it on burgers. You can put it on, uh, like, I'm going to put them on tacos. I know that they have, like, for fish tacos, I know they have, like, a specific thing that they put on those. And then also, there's a um, pupusas. Um, they put, they put, they have a creamier salsa, uh, coleslaw salsa that they put on. Mix that all up. It's getting all mixed up. Now I'm going to taste it. Okay. So it needs a little bit more of this. So we did three. So we'll do one, two, three more. And then we'll do some more of this to make it more creamy because it doesn't look like it doesn't look creamy enough. But I don't want it to be all watery enough. For, for me, I wouldn't want it to be all watery. You guys can like fuss with it how you want. Starting to get more creamy. Alright, so we're going to see what that tastes like. Oh, yeah. Yep, just like my mom used to make. I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. I'm going to add some pepper. I think I might cut up some serranos and put some serranos in here too. Just for a bonus, some mayo. There's a mayo, there's a mayo and a mayo and miracle whip kind of war going on in the world you know like oh, I don't like mayo I like Miracle Whip so I had never had Mar I had never actually remembered having mayo whenever I was little so one time I was having a burger and I was like oh my god why does it taste so different because I'm used to the tangy like the tangy 
mayo is so creamy and and it adds a, a denseness to the texture of the food that you're eating. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's kind of like um, the difference between hard butter and soft butter. That's what I can I can I can say about that. So that's brown. Uh oh, starting to fall apart. I should have turned it before now. I'm gonna be putting this slaw on um, fish. I'm gonna add some lime to the slaw. So I learned this trick, I don't know, probably everybody in the whole world knows it now anyway. You just take it and roll it to help break the, you break the insides up. And it helps to get the juices flowing. dig my fingernails in there. Squish. Squish, squish. I know you're supposed to use lemon for stuff with, for fish, but I'm trying to make this more of a crispy, light, and I don't really care all that much for the, the taste of lemon. This little lime has a lot of juice in it. If you keep squeezing, it'll keep coming out. Okay. All right, I think they gave us like. All right. So, I'll go ahead and turn around. All the fish. And you can see it's pretty much done. I don't want it to burn. I put my butter in it too. So. Oh, softy. And then, where is my... Garlic powder. Garlic salt. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to let that cool down, and then I'll come back. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. So I let the, let the fish rest. So I have all my fixings over here. So we're going to go ahead and shift everything this direction. So I'm going to put the heating pad down here. And I'm going to turn you guys around. I'm going to sit right there. Have the fish sit right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some fish, 
and I'm gonna put it on the tortilla that I showed you guys at the beginning. So these are street taco flour tortillas. So it's the little ones. I wanted to make a lot because I'm gonna be using this as my dinners. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll start putting the tacos together. This one has 12 in it. So I'm gonna see how many tacos I can get. I'm gonna put, so I'll show you. I'll just, I'll just do it. <laughs> and then that way you guys can watch, watch along. And I have this big, um, I have this big dish so I can put everything inside the big dish that way I can show you guys what I'm doing um, okay so we're just gonna take a little bit of fish break it up a little bit in there. and then take a little of the slaw and I added serrano chilies to the slaw A little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese. I think that might be too much. Tacos, like fish tacos, are so delicate. So, you know, the, the ingredients that you add have to be just as delicate. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And some pico de gallo. And then a little bit of lime on top. inside the little dish so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all of this and then whenever I come back I'll show you the finished stuff because I know you're not gonna want me watch me do all of this all at the same time and I don't edit my videos all right be back in a minute all right everybody so we're back and this is the end product I think it turned out really good. I have a, so from this, I'll take them and I'll put them inside of these containers, lock and lock containers, and I'll put them in the refrigerator and they stay fresh. And I have them for dinner every evening. I still have some slaw left. And I still have some tortillas left, but I'm going to use that for my chicken one. So I'm going to lift it up. And point you guys at me. Okay. And so, I mean, that's it. Um, <clears throat> I might do another video later today. I got some stuff delivered from Amazon. I was thinking about making... I was thinking about making um, uh, peanut butter, peanut butter cookies, and adding butterscotch to the peanut butter cookies. I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna work, but my um, coworker. She's always making stuff, homemade stuff, and it, she's got a cookie recipe that she gave to me, but it has, so it's two peanut butter type cookies, not the normal peanut butter cookie, but a type of peanut butter cookie, and then it's got a creamy uh, filling inside. It's very good. Delicious. Yeah, so I got, um... I got some peanut butter chips and I also got butterscotch chips because whenever I don't know if you've ever had a cookie that um so when you bite in it you you know that the peanut butter chip is in there but the the butterscotch complements it on your taste buds to die for I also wanted to make like a I was also considering making, considering making, I wanted to make like a big cookie and then make that icing and then make another big cookie and put on top and then 
Mm, I don't know what I would cover it with. More chocolate? Oh yeah, chocolate. Melt some chocolate, put it on top. Oh yeah. I'm supposed to be watching what I eat. <laughs> you can see how well that's going over. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's it for the tilapia tacos. Tilapia street tacos with velvet. I hope you guys have a great weekend and um, uh, remember to think about, because Memorial Day is about remembering those that we've lost in the wars. And um, I think right now that we all really do need to kind of like take pride in our, our, our America. Even if it's not the person that you decided that you had any decision on making be where that person is. No, that doesn't really make any sense, but some of my friends will understand. Um, I don't, I don't want to get into politics, but just remember to think about those and say thank you to those who are still around. Um, for doing what they do because they put their lives on the line and all, all the people who have already passed away died from being in wars defending our country America so think about all that stuff when you're having your barbecues and whatever today or tomorrow whenever there's a reason why we have the Memorial Day and it's to remember so remember and have a fantastic weekend. Bye.